Chinese have announced that they're yeah. going to go to the moon. In fact, they will probably beat the United States. NASA last year admitted that their time frame is behind the Chinese time frame. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Universal Narratives, a channel dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Did you know that the renowned physicist Mikio Kaku has recently revealed China's extraordinary discovery on the moon? Yes, you heard it right. Today's video with Mikio Kaku reveals China's shocking discovery on the moon. That will take you on an astronomical journey like never before. What could this unexpected lunar discovery be? How will it revolutionize our understanding of the universe? Join us as we delve into the cosmos to answer these burning questions and discover the exciting revelations hidden at the heart of the moon. Get ready for a truly out of this world adventure. A source of mystery. Water on the moon. The moon, our closest neighbor in space, has always been a source of mystery. And recently, Chinese scientists have made some incredible discoveries that begin to answer our biggest questions about the moon. Just two years ago, China sent a robotic spacecraft to a large dark area visible from Earth called Oceanus Procellarum or Ocean of Storms. The spacecraft called Chang-5 landed near a large mountain called Mount Runker on the moon. The most exciting part is that, for the first time in almost 50 years, the spacecraft collected samples from the lunar surface and brought them back to Earth. The last time this happened was during a Soviet Union mission in 1976. These new lunar samples have led to surprising discoveries, especially regarding water on the Moon. Many scientists thought that when the Moon formed about 4 billion years ago, any water it may have had would have dissipated due to intense heat. But it turns out that's not the case. In fact, there is a considerable amount of ice water on the moon. This ice has been found mainly at the moon's poles, where it's always dark. NASA plans to send astronauts to these areas. Because access to this water could be very useful for future space travel, let's delve into this surprising revelation. The Chain 5 mission hasn't just found water, but has also brought back more than 60 ounces of lunar soil and rock samples, rich in rare minerals, like chained fiveite and helium-3. But it doesn't end there. Before returning to Earth, Chain 5 used an onboard tool to measure the amounts of water on the lunar surface. Water, a vital element for human survival, a resource rarer than diamonds in deep space, has been found on the moon. The next question is, where does this water come from? Some scientists thought it could have been brought to the moon by asteroids, while others believe there could be an invisible source of water on the moon. According to a report by Chinese and European researchers, the lunar samples taken from the northwest region of the moon and brought back by the Chain 5 spacecraft could provide the answer to this big question. These samples contain tiny glass beads of different colors, like small space pearls. But how did they get there? They probably formed from the intense heat generated by meteorite impacts on the moon. And the most exciting part is that these small glass beads contain traces of water. Yes, you heard it right, water on the moon. A scientist from the Chinese Academy of Sciences revealed that for every ton of lunar soil, there are about 2,000 kilograms of water in these glass beads. Even more surprising is that these glass beads are everywhere on the moon, from the equator to the poles. This is due to the large number of meteorites that have hit the moon over its existence. While scientists believe that water on the moon is mainly present in the form of hydroxyl, it could also exist in a molecular state. It's estimated that there are an incredible 270 billion tons of water trapped in these glass beads. In 2010, NASA estimated that the craters at the moon's North Pole contained about 600 million tons of ice. But this new discovery suggests a much larger water reserve. But water isn't the only discovery made by China's lunar missions. In 2020, a rare lunar crystal called Chang 5 ite was discovered in lunar basalt particles. This crystal contains helium-3, a substance that represents the key to nuclear fusion, the same process that powers the sun and stars in our galaxy. It's believed that helium-3 exists in abundance on the moon and has the potential to provide a cleaner and more efficient nuclear energy source. China's lunar exploration program is making giant strides. With plans to establish a crude lunar base by 2028, the goal is to build a research station and continue exploring the lunar surface especially the South Pole, which is rich in accessible water. 
China's ambitious plans for future lunar missions, including Chang'e 6, Chang'e 7, and Chang'e 8, are paving the way for a future of crewed moon landings and the establishment of a permanent lunar base. As China's lunar exploration continues to unfold, it promises to provide valuable insights into our universe. Follow the adventure of Chang'e 6, planned for 2024, which aims to collect the first samples from the far side of the moon, which remains perpetually hidden from Earth's view. While it's still too early to put a price on this possible fuel source, it's safe to assume it won't be cheap. However, the challenge lies in obtaining a large amount of these looter crystals, especially if we want to power fusion reactors. Only 25 tons of helium-3, roughly the cargo space of a space shuttle, could power the entire United States for a year, with an estimated economic value of $3 billion per ton. This discovery could trigger a space race among nations and companies eager to extract helium-3 from the moon. China's looter discoveries are paving the way for an era where looter mineral resources will no longer be science fiction, but a reality. As we gaze upon the moonlit sky, we may not just see a celestial neighbor, but a beacon of clean and efficient energy for our future. China's lunar ambitions are particularly focused on the moon's south pole, an area believed to be rich in accessible water. In addition to building a base, there's a plan to expand it into an international lunar research station. A detailed plan has already been mapped out, with numerous missions in the pipeline to prepare the ground for this permanent lunar base. The missions rely on the capabilities of the Long March 9 rocket, a super heavy lift launch vehicle that has recently undergone modifications to make it reusable. As we continue to unveil the mysteries of the universe, China's ambitious lunar plans promise a fascinating glimpse into the future of space exploration. Their lunar ambitions are a testament to humanity's tenacity in pushing the boundaries of knowledge and reaching for the stars. As we watch their journey unfold, we can't help but wonder what exciting revelations the next decade will hold. Only time and space will tell. In the meantime, let us know in the comments below what you think of these incredible Chinese discoveries on the moon. Stay tuned for more exciting content like this. See you next time.